This is tutorial 1, Linear Algebra, question 8, supplementary. In this supplementary, we will deal with finding the parametric equation of the solution of Ax equals to b. In question 8, we are given this a and this unknown vector x, and we are given abc as the vector b. Notice that a is singular. It has only one dependent row or one dependent column. You can see that row 2 is nothing but 2 times of row 1, row 3 is 3 times of row 1. When we perform Gaussian elimination to find the solutions x of ax equals to b, we get this. We have only one pivot because there is only one independent row or column. Remember that if there is only one pivot, then there is only one dependent variable and two free variables. So if this is the dependent variable and these are the free variable, we then will have infinite solution if B lies in the column space of A. Since the other two equations result in zeros, let's ignore them first. We'll put the first row 1, 1, 1 with x, y, z as the x factor of unknown variable and we will now solve for this. We get matrix vector multiplication as one row times one column. So it's one by three. Three by one we'll get one by one on the right hand side which is the value A. So x plus y plus z should have to be set to be equals to A. Since x and y are free variable, we can set them to zero and therefore we have x is equals to a as our solution if the system of equations is consistent with y and z equals to zero. Because the, of the free variable, we want to solve for the homogeneous solution as well. To do that, we set the right hand side to be equals to zero and then we use the same first row equation x plus y plus z equals to zero and solve. Now we set the dependent variable x is equals to the two free variable so we move y and z across to the other side. This result in the unknown vector x to be the particular solution which is a0 zero, zero, as we got in the first part here with y and z equals to 0. And now, for the second part, what we do is that we use this equation for the homogeneous solution, and we say that x is equals to minus y minus z. So we put it, this is x, the first element of the unknown variable x. <coughs> y and z are free variables, so we just retain this. And now, to set this solution in parametric form, what we do is that we just simply copy down the particular solution and for the homogeneous solution what we do is that we let the variable y comes out here and we find that this becomes minus 1 z is 0 this is 1 so it's minus 1 1 and this is 0 and when we set z then we will break again this factor into minus 1 this is 0 and then we have 1 here now, these two vectors are actually the basis of the null space of A. So this is how you solve for the general solution of the unknown variable x when it has particular and homogeneous solution. Thank you.